so one day on ekadashi lord chaitanya was crying bitterly so generally whenever chaitanya mahaprabhu cries people used to come and do sankirtana and chaitanya mahaprabhu stops so that day he was not stopping he was crying incessantly so finally jagannath mishra came to him and asked and all the relatives tried to pacify him and said why are you crying please say us the reason why are you crying we will try to satisfy all your demands so chaitanya mahaprabhu finally said see i am feeling so sick today i want to eat because today is ekadashi and uh, there were special menu special feast offered to the lord in the house of Jagad- jagadish pandita so i wanted that food if i can't eat that food i will not survive like that chaitanya mahaprabhu is threatening blackmailing them i cannot survive so please get me that food then uh, jagannath mishra was thinking how you can go and ask in somebody else's house at to ekadashi day so but finally because uh, chaitanya uh, nimay cannot be satisfied unless that food comes so jagannath mishra went to their house and uh, requested i think you have made special offering to lord vishnu today on the name of ekadashi so my son is asking for that food items please give him something jagdish pandita and uh, hiranya pandita they could understand that laddu gopal La- bal gopal is asking all that naivedya so they immediately gave all that revenants so jagannath mishra brought that and chaitanya mahaprabhu ate little little of all the items then they threw on the ground and threw on all the people there then all of them became happy and ecstatic because chaitanya mahaprabhu had stopped crying so after some time chaitanya mahaprabhu instructed him when he was in grahastha ashram only to jagdish pandita to go to jagannath puri and preach so he went to nilachala at that time he went to have darshan of lord jagannatha in very soon this navakalevara is coming means every 12 years or minimum every 12 years uh, they will be changing the deities so when he went there he was desiring that he wanted to preach he wanted to take blessings of lord jagannatha and he wanted to worship lord jagannatha so when he offered his respects and offered his prayers to jagannatha lord jagannatha could understand the mood of his devotee and in a dream he came to him and he said you can go to the king and collect my deity when the navakalevara happens when the new deities come the old deities will be replaced so the, you can go and collect my old deity from him and uh, you can go to bengal so then uh, he went to the king and uh, next day king also got a dream that uh, my devotee will be coming please hand over him the deity only jagannath deity baladeva and subhadra var and sudarshana var all the other formalities were done so very, very soon uh, the past time happened and uh, which was left after uh, it is called samadhista vigraha the vigraha which is supposed to go to samadhi so that vigraha was given to him now see one jagannath deity when you know he was brought to be seated on ratha some 30 people will be carrying him even them the lord will not be able to move 30 people physically will be try to lift him but still he will not be able to move then he said uh, i am such a single person or you are asking me to carry to bengal how can i lift you then jagannath says no 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 problem you just tie one fresh white cloth upon me i'll become as light as a feather and you can tie me to your uh, tick so you know in elder earlier days old people when they are going to farms they have one stick and at the corner they will be tying their lunch box so like that you tie me to your stick so i'll come along with you so whenever the place i want to stay there i'll become heavy there and i'll stop there so build me a temple there this is the condition so jagadish pandita started carrying two brahmanas with him so that they will be able to assist him sometimes to carry the lord so they came near a, a place called chakradaha chakradaha is a place uh, it's almost near krishna krishna nagar when we go to mayapur there is a place called krishna nagar so this is near that chakradaha that is a place there so when the he came there uh, by the will of the lord uh, uh, jagadish pandita got nature call he wanted to attend the nature call so the other he was the other brahmana was holding the dt suddenly the dt became so heavy he could not hold the dt he had placed dt there so uh, then now dt cannot be shifted so the, the temple was built and he started worshiping the dt there the speciality of that place was that earlier this place was also known as pradyumna pura this is the place where pradyumna had killed tambara demon that's why that name was called pradyumna pura and it is also called as chakradaha because when uh, bagiratha was bringing ganges 
See, he was coming on his chariot and Ganges was following him. When he came here, the wheel of his chariot got stuck up into the mud here. Chakra Daha, that's why. It's called, uh, it became, uh, over a period of time, it called Chakra Daha. Over a period of time, the name got changed. So he started worshipping the deity there. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to visit that twice. He came with all his associates and did Sankirtana there to the pleasure of the devotees. Uh, Jagdisha and uh, his wife Dukini Devi. Uh, later again, Nityanand Prabhu also came there and he also did uh, Sankirtan there because Nityanand Prabhu was travelling around Bengal. So, he also came there. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted sannyasa and was about to go away to Puri, Dukini Devi was very much, because like a mother, she was feeling very bad that she will not be able to have darshan of the Lord. So, to pacify her, Lord manifested a deity called Gaur Gopal. And that deity was also there in the temple. Even today, if you go, we will have darshan of Lord Jagannatha there. The stick with which Jagadish Pandita carried that deity. The Gaur Gopal deity, the self-manifested deity of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and their family deity of Radha Krishna. So, in this way, Lord can do anything unlimited. It's according to the devotee's desire, Lord was manifesting various leelas. Same thing here, here, Jagdish Pandita wanted to serve the Lord, he wanted to preach the glories of the Lord. Lord became as light as a feather. When the temp where the temple has to be built, he became as heavy as the entire universe. Nobody can lift it.